Howdy all y'all, coming from Texas, so of course we're going to do a hunting show. Here it is, there's this hog, Jared's first kill. Oh, there comes a poop, there comes a poop. So the scope that we're using here is the Thermion um, from P Pulsar. It's really good and I highly recommend. I only use one um, USA Optics and I'll put the link to there uh, So to support local. It's important we support local, he's a very, very good guy. And there was a shot. And now he's down. So Jared, um, you know, I hunt a lot. And this is rifle that I was using. And he claimed it. Hope you all enjoyed that little clip of my son shooting that hog that was pooping. Good times, good times. I'll talk a little bit about uh, as far as hog, how it's a big pass here in Texas. But uh, I hope you all didn't. I think I would do a, wouldn't do a shooting sh video being from Texas and all. So here it is, my little uh, man bunker here. And we'll be doing a lot of different shows, different different things. I got a little couple projects going on with a couple, couple of my guns. Um, so we'll, we'll do some of that later down the line. But um, yeah, so this is it. My little, my little home away from home, so to speak. And I'll go ahead and show you the rifle and the scope that my son was using. Okay, let me give you a little tour of my man bunker here. Um, this little tools and ammo shelf there. Uh, need to start reloading. Only problem right now with reloading is can't find primers or gunpowder, so I can't really re reload, and I don't want to overpay for something I'm not willing to do right now. Maybe later down the line. There's, uh, that's one of the hogs killed there. Of course, gotta have my little Eagle Scout flag there. It's a Jared, Jared's and I headphone and his and my backpack. Jared and I hunt together a lot. And there's a come and take it. That's kind of a second flag for Texans there. So there you have it, my little humble little man bunker here. And since he got one, and this was during the, the buying frenzy where everyone got scared of the shortage and um, I happened to be at a store and this was their last one on stock. Uh, going back to this one, actually my friend and I went to to a gun, sh gun store and they had eight of them and we're like, yeah, we can wait, we'll go shop around. And, and the store owner's like, if you want it, you guys should get it now. And we went, nah, we'll, it's got eight. I'm sure it'll be here uh, later this week, maybe. And we went shop around and we couldn't find anything. It was like all the ARs are like super, super hot, going hot off the market. And um, next day, my friend John and I we were just saying to ourselves, you know what? I didn't think, like I wasn't kidding. We better go and check it out. And sure enough, when we got there, they only had two left. And, w and one of the guy was like looking at it and we're like, oh, we hope he doesn't buy it. And so um, they had two left and one was a display and one was in the box. So I let my friend buy the one that's in the box and I just got the display one. Um, obviously the, the rifle is st probably still so hot, um, very, very popular. And so uh, no discount for the display on that. So. And this one too, uh, walked in, is like, hey, is that a 308? They go, yep, AR platform. And I'm like, that's the last one, huh? He goes, that's the last one. So definitely, uh, I picked it up for sure. Wanna hunt with my son. Uh, couldn't afford the scope like his. So I got this, uh, so I mounted a little SIG scope here. And then my, ther my thermal, this little fancy, uh, green light here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that on there. Um, that's my high tech there. Um, 
green light's pretty good. The hogs can't see green light for some reason. So you put the spotlight on them and just kind of use your little scope there. And it works, it works pretty good. And I, I normally don't shoot when I'm hunting with my son. I'm like his spotter. I just want him to enjoy himself. So unless there's like a group of hogs that come along, what we, I will shoot it with him and we'll just blast away. Um, kind of semi aiming, just shoot, shoot. That, that kind of shooting is so much fun. And, and you can just hear the, the, the pig squeal all over. So, and this one isn't, um, it's a good, it's a good 308, but, but it's CM, MG, I'm not familiar with that brand, but um, it shoots pretty well as well. And of course I added this attachment for, for the little swing, of course Magpul, and I carried that along. Normally once we come upon a, a hog, we use this little stick here. Let me grab that for you. Uh, little stick, uh, pull, you push the lever, it goes down to the ground and it, it it keeps it keeps your rifle pretty sturdy while you while you're shooting and aiming. So that's pretty much it. Um, so once he Jared's planning on going to mission, so when he gets back, I'll probably have to find a different case just for him, unless he stays sticks around the house or. Um, but that's that's what his gun. He's good at. He's very good at, and he, and he enjoys it. And I enjoy watching him shoot. Um, so there you are. That little pooping hog didn't go with two ways at all. In fact, we made a lot of stuff for the missionaries for the for dinner for missionaries and our family. Um, we had barbecue. Of course, we made curry. Uh, we made larb. Um, the Thai people is call it uh, lap lap. Um, it's a kind of native dish, and so um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you had a lot of fun enjoy watching it. We'll be talking a lot more about hunting and fishing and different things uh, here in Texas. And so I hope you stay tuned to the channel. And please don't forget to hit subs subscribe.